We know now the fundamental laws that tell us how electric and magnetic fields are produced by charges and currents. And we know how electric fields exert forces on point charges. The next piece of the puzzle is to describe how magnetic fields exert forces on point charges. The magnetic force law goes like so. The force on some point charge Q, moving with velocity V through some magnetic field B, comes from taking Q times V crossed with B. It's kind of an odd looking law, and not nearly as convenient as the electric force law, but it is what it is. Some highlights? First, the force on a point charge is always zero if the charge is stationary. Only moving point charges feel magnetic forces. Second, since the cross product of parallel vectors is zero, charges moving along the direction of magnetic field lines feel no force. Contrarywise, you get the maximum possible force if the velocity is perpendicular to the field. And finally, since the force law involves a cross product, the magnetic force is always perpendicular to both the particle's velocity and the magnetic field. This makes magnetic force problems intrinsically three-dimensional. Let's take a quick look at the motion of a point charge in a magnetic field. Suppose I have a positive point charge moving to the right through some magnetic field oriented into the page. Doing a bit of right-hand rule shows me that the force on the positive charge is upwards. That'll serve to steer the particle a little bit, so that moments later its trajectory looks like so. And at that point in time, if we look at the new velocity vector and cross it with the magnetic field, we get a force oriented like so, which will steer the particle some more. Note that in every case, the force on the charge is going to be perpendicular to its direction of travel. Forces that are perpendicular to something's direction of travel are what we usually call centripetal forces, and they turn things around in circles without speeding them up or slowing them down. So that means that a free charge moving in a magnetic field is going to get spun around in little circles. Or if the charge has some initial velocity component in the direction that the field is pointing, it'll continue on in that direction while it circles. To produce a helical trajectory. Note that in either case, since the magnetic force doesn't speed up or slow down the point charge, it doesn't change its kinetic energy. This is something we can verify by looking at the definition of work. Work is the integral of f dot dl. And if the F goes like QV cross B, the force has to be perpendicular to the direction of travel. But the DL in the work equation is a step in the direction that the particle is traveling. So QV cross B is perpendicular to DL. And everything dots to zero. And thus, you sometimes hear people say things like, magnetic fields do no work on free charges. One last little thing to point out, since magnetic fields push free charges around in little circles, a nice hook into all sorts of problem solving is to take the magnitude of the magnetic force and set it equal to the equation for a centripetal force. This equation relates a whole host of quantities to one another and can do a lot of work for you. Certainly more work than magnetic fields would do, huh? Huh? Ugh, that was awful. I'm so sorry. Nah, that's a lie. I'm not sorry.